Berardi Immigration Law is a great resource for the latest in immigration news and trends. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps out the channel. And click that notification bell so you never miss a video from Berardi Immigration Law. Okay, you guys. Well, your business has now been classified as a Blanket L company. And your attorney has prepared your package for the day of your interview. And you now have an appointment scheduled. All you got to do is attend the appointment. So what does that look like? Well, we always tell our clients, show up no more than 15 minutes before your interview. And when you are in line at the embassy or consulate, you're going to want to provide the DS-160 appointment or the DS-160 confirmation page and the appointment confirmation page that the Department of State has provided to show, look, I have an interview. Please let me in. You present them to the guards. They'll let you in. You go through security and you then are directed to the room where you actually are going to have your interview. What must you have? So you have your package and in some cases you may have had your biometrics taken the day before the interview. Some countries require it, some countries do not. If it does not, you may need to bring a photograph of yourself uh, that is required for the interview. Any copies of your of any actual passports in your possession, both current or expired, they're going to want you to bring. Um, they may also want you, you will also need to bring a copy of the full application package. So in, a point, in addition to the appointment in DS-160 confirmations, you're going to be called up whenever the government's ready. Your appointment time may come and go, and that's okay. You will be called eventually. And this interview is not like a typical sit-down job interview where you go in a different room and you're sitting down and, and you're facing each other and you're having this intense discussion. Most of this, you're going to be standing up behind a plexiglass wall. It's going to last five to ten minutes, and it'll be over as soon as it began. So when you're up there, it's really important to make it count. The things we want to hit home, again, the, the, go the government already knows that the business is engaged in qualifying, uh, bi uh, doing business under the regulations. They already know that the, the entities are engaged in commercial trader services, and they already know that these entities are affiliated. The purpose of that interview is to determine, look, are you an L1A manager as embodied by the regulations or are you a specialized knowledge employee seeking L1B status and how do you qualify? So if you have the opportunity, take it to say, if I'm a manager, I, I have a variety of direct reports outside the United States. They themselves are professionals or supervisors uh, and I will continue to oversee these or other professionals once I am transferred to the United States. I oversee this. I direct this. I guide these people. You want to talk about yourself in the professional capacity that you are representing yourself to be as an L1A or L1B applicant. And as an L1B applicant, you want to say, I have a very intense knowledge of XYZ products related to our company. I am one of the only people in the company who is L who is able or or is willing or actually does do something for the company. They can't find other people in the U.S. to do this, so they need me in the United States. You are there to sell yourself and to advocate for yourself. Even if it doesn't feel like it, that's what these officers want to know. They want to know, number one, is this person trustworthy? Is there is there fraud present here? Or is this the real deal? And number two, does this person is is what is written on paper, if they even read the packet that they are that you have given them, is this person really who they say they are? So you want to make sure you understand how the L1 category works and you understand how your particular subsection as a manager or a specialized knowledge person really squares up with um, this picture that the company has attempted to paint and what the regulations require. When the interview is over, you will have a very clear idea of how it went. You're going to have an officer tell you, okay, everything looks good. You've been approved. We'll hold on to your passport. We'll make the visa a page. And they may take your biometrics at that point if they haven't already done so. Um, and then they will keep the passport. Now, typically what happens 
following the interview is they will keep the passport for about five to seven business days to make the visa an actual page in the passport. And then they will mail it back to you at the address that you have stipulated previously to them where you would like to collect the passport. Now, once you get that passport, that's it. You are free to enter the United States. You can work in the United States. At the time of entry, you need to present that passport with the L-1 visa, and you need to present your uh, the L-1 approval notice from USCIS showing you work for a classified blanket entity, but you also are going to need to bring something called the Form I-129S, which will be stamped at your appointment and given back to you as evidence that you have attended an appointment and have been deemed an appropriate L-1 recipient by the Department of State. So your passport, the I-129S, and the L-1 blanket approval are what you're going to need for entry to the United States. Present these documents every time you enter the United States and you will be golden. Now, if you have a nexus or if you have global entry, it's super important at that point that you have notified each of these respective programs about your new status because otherwise, every time you enter the United States, you will be defaulted to being a pure business or pleasure visitor to the United States. We do not want that. You must be entering an L1 status every time you enter, so make sure you have that all figured out. But pretty much, you guys, that's the most important information you need to know about the L Blanket program. I hope it works for you and you find an easier and more streamlined way to get to the United States. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be happy to assist. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification button so you never miss one of these important updates. Also, check out the Berardi blog that's on our website at berardiimmigrationlaw.com. The blog is updated two to three times a week, contains tons of up-to-date information on policies and trends. You won't want to miss it.